Okay, to get started, how to install Oracle 19C on Linux 7? Below are specific requirements to install Oracle 19C, like memory, swap, OS user, OS group, required directories and permissions. Make sure you do all these prerequisites before proceed to installation. How to verify Oracle 19C is certified for Linux 7. Log into support.oracle.com, go to certification tab page, select product as Oracle database. Then click on release, select the database version, then click on platform. In my case, Red Hat Linux 7. Click on search button, it is certified. If you plan to use Oracle database pre install 19C package to perform all your prerequisite setup, you can do this on your test environment, but in real time, you can't do it. Sysadmin can help you to install all required RPMs manually. Verify OS prerequisites. Here, using 7.5 Red Hat Linux memory, 10 GB free memory, temp space 4 GB. Plan to install on U01 mount point. It is having 63 gig free space. I'm using Intel Gen processor. Copy Oracle 19C software to Oracle Home. So from 18C onwards, you need to copy the Oracle binaries directly to the Oracle Home and then unzip. Copy the response file to slash 10. Since we are using silent installation, we need to install using response file. Among the prerequisites using run installer, this is only prerequisites. We are not doing actual installation. It will tell you whether your system is ready for the installation or not. It's always better to run. So it completed and it gave some warnings. So we need to look into the log file. So I see here it's related to swap issue and uh, severity is uh, ignorable. So since it is my test machine, I am ignoring. Now I will do the actual silent installation. Again, you got some warnings. Okay, that's okay. Recommended to verify the log file for errors. So it got completed. So now it is asking to run root addresses as root user. We need to open new terminal and run the root addresses. The task is almost completed. So if you want to check SQL plus, so make sure it is working. You can set the environment variables and run the SQL plus. Yeah, done. Task completed. Installation completed. Thank you for watching.